Dr. Frank Islam is a very successful NRI entrepreneur and businessman living in a palatial mansion in America but his heart beats for India especially for his alma mater Aligarh Muslim University and his birthplace Azamgarh Dr. Frank is also a great thought leader and a philanthropist he has a great desire and dreams to uplift minorities and the underprivileged section of the society in India from the vicious cycle of poverty and backwardness. Today, I am going to tell the life story of this great person. Dr. Frank Islam was born to a middle class family in Kohra Ghani, a remote, nondescript, sleepy village of Azamgarh district in Uttar Pradesh one of the most backward and popular state in India. The story of Dr. Frank Islam's life is not just a quintessential rag to riches story, but the story of great will and determination to acquire wealth, to help the community and give back to the society. He firmly believes it is much more rewarding to give back than to make money. This is the rural house of Dr. Frank F. Islam where he was born and brought up in his childhood. Here, he was taught how to ride a bicycle by his father in the hot summer sun on the dusty roads of Kohra Ghani village. He enjoyed cycling while waving the great Indian dream, which was not just confined to the small rural setup or the small town, but to reach out far beyond in this big wide world. He received his basic education up to 5th class at a school in this village. They still have the register where we can clearly see his name enrolled there. For the principal of the school, it is a prized possession which he displays proudly. Well, first of all, that school um, was the first school that I went uh, in a small village. It is hard to realize that the, my journey from there to Aligarh to America uh, will have a, a strong impact and influence. I'm deeply grateful of that institution, of that madarsa. After just a few years of his schooling, Dr. Frank's family moved to the historical holy city of Kashi, better known as Banaras or Varanasi, famous for its ancient temples and Ganga Ghats. कि बहुत हमदर्दी रखते हैं किसी काम में किसी शख्स को किसी जहां पे भी रहे अधिकर में आपके एजुकेशन हुई उसके बाद अमेरिका गए अधिकर में दो साल लेक्चर भी थे और कभी मिलते तो बड़ी हमदर्दी से सबका खैरियत पूछना और बैठ के चाय पिलाना इन बनारस ही गॉट मोस्ट ऑफ हिज हाई एंड सेकेंडरी स्कूल एजुकेशन आफ्टर हाई स्कूल ही वेंट टू अलीगढ़ the most important junction and a turning point in his life. He joined Aligarh Muslim University, that is AMU, to pursue a degree in mathematics. Ever since then, Aligarh Muslim University played a key role in shaping his future and his journey and became a great influence in his life. That young man who reached here in Aligarh Muslim University more than 45 years ago, a little apprehensive and bleary-eyed, but with great dreams and determination, is now back again to his alma mater. And the kind of warm ceremonial welcome he received here is not just unprecedented in the history of Aligarh Muslim University, but perhaps in the history of any great university. Aligarh's legendary writers are saluting to their great alumni horse-drawn carriage takes him to the convention hall with all the grand show of respect and applauds. Hey, Badi Sabah Kishtune Sina, Mehman Johani Wali Hain, कलियां न बिछाना राहों में 
हम पल के बिछाने वाले हैं डॉक्टर फ्रेंच इस्लाम Since he had established the Aligarh Muslim University to provide its graduate with what I call a purpose-driven education. Today, Aligarh Muslim University offers more than 250 full-time courses in fields like agriculture, medicine, science, engineering, and technologies, and draws students from all corners of India and from many countries around the world. There are currently almost 220,000 Aligal alumni in 100 countries worldwide. I am one of them. And the entire house is requested to please applaud tremendously as the Vice Chancellor presents the memento to our honorable chief guest, Dr. Frank Islam. Of course, it is a matter of big surprise and curiosity to see this amazing transformation from then and now. The poor young man who reached Aligarh Muslim University long back would not have dreamt that one day he would reach here with so much success and glory. How did it happen? Well, while at Aligarh in 1969, Frank Islam's life turned suddenly when he got a surprise offer from a visiting German professor from American University of Colorado, Professor Wolfgang Fong. Under his mentorship, Frank got an admission in the Colorado University at Boulder to pursue bachelor's and master's degree in computer science. And from there onwards, he had no looking back and became a part of his new American dreams. If Aligarh was a turning point in Frank's life, Boulder became a stepping stone to achieve his American dreams. After earning his master's degree in computer science from the University of Colorado, Frank moved north to Canada to pursue a PhD at McMaster University in Ontario. In Toronto, Canada, he began his professional career. He also got married to Debbie Dreisman. So here's my journey. After doing my apprenticeship in 1994, we mortgaged our house to buy a company called QSS Group Incorporated for $45,000. Within 13 years, along with my management team, we took that company from, one, from a workforce of one employee, that's me, to more than 3,000 employees and approximately $300 million plus revenue. While working for a number of computer firms there, he continued to weave his entrepreneurial dream to establish his own company one day. In 1994, he got a good chance as he bought a struggling IT company, QSS, in Maryland. Dr. Frank began his entrepreneurial career with just $500. After 13 years, QSS, with thousands of employees, had become a multi-million dollar enterprise. $300 million in revenue and 3,000 employees. After achieving his great success as an entrepreneur and businessman, Dr. Frank was ready to embark on another great journey, pursuing the life of a great philanthropist and a thought leader. Soon, 
he sold his enterprise profitably and distributed $40 million of that money to his employees while saying goodbye to them. Now, he was ready to pursue the role of a philanthropist and thought leader extraordinaire. Now, with the power of wealth to back his great innovative ideas and plans. In many ways, process of sharing and giving back is as and even more rewarding than any of the money that I have earned throughout my business career. I am uh, always reminded and guided by the words of President John F. Kennedy, who said, to whom much is given, much is expected. This new Frank Islam, a great thought leader and philanthropist, has been recognized world over. Now, he is on the board of many world-famous organizations, such as John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts and Ford's Theatre, etc. And also in educational institutions of reputes, such as the American University Board of Trustees in Emirates, that is AUE, Marymount University Board of Trustees, and the Harvard University, Kennedy School of Government Board, etc. I accept it with all humility on behalf of all the members of the conference and those of you in this audience who are working diligently together to build bridges, to break the barriers, to promote dialogue of understanding and cooperation, and a shared sense of community throughout the DC area. Dr. Islam is an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, a civic leader, a writer, thinker, and of course, an Algerian. Entrepreneurial leaders are the dreamers who dare. They see opportunities where others see problems and challenges. As the old American saying, managers do things right, leaders do the right thing. As Dr. Frank Islam owes a great deal to Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh University owes a great deal to him too, as he generously donated millions of dollars to his alma mater. First, he contributed $2 million gift to Aligarh Muslim University to build Frank and Debbie Islam Management Complex. And then later, he kept on funding more and more to do other activities and to set up the Frank and Debbie Islam Media Center and Auditorium in the university's mass communication department. It is a very prestigious opportunity for me that I've got to study in this very department. As we all know that AMU is one of the prestigious universities of India. And this department, the Frank and Debbie Islam Management Complex, is one of the newest and the most sought department of the university. So, as uh, Frank and Islam Debbie has given us such a great opportunity by building such a really nice uh, and very creative and very, uh, I must say, it's a very attractive infrastructure. Most importantly, these are not just random largesse of an alumni but a very thoughtful and timely contribution for the betterment of the entire society and community. They are a great embodiment of his profound ideas to help the underprivileged people and bring out a community from the vicious cycle of poverty and educational backwardness in order to make them self-dependent and prosperous. While the management complex represents power of business and entrepreneurial leadership, the media complex embodies socio-cultural and political leadership, two cardinal elements of a developed society. Dr. Frank keeps visiting AMU, feeling a strong bond with the institution and expressing his gratitude in many ways to his alma mater. Dr. Frank Islam is a distinguished entrepreneur, a celebrated writer, a widely read columnist, a civic leader, educationer, and a philanthropist. His generous funding to the department enabled 
to build a state-of-the-art Frank and Debbie Islam auditorium for screening the short films produced by the students. The students have also prepared a short video as a token of gratitude to Dr. Frank Islam, which will be screened in a while. Generally, the students tend to forget their alma mater, but a strong sense of belonging is the hallmark of the old boys of Aligarh Muslim University. The Department of Mass Communication, Aligarh Muslim University, is greatly indebted to Mr. Frank F. Islam for funding the department's new facility. With this, I now invite Dr. Frank Islam to deliver the inaugural address. India has had the reputation of having the most vibrant and free press in the developing world. I went to the United States from India to go to school to study computer science at the University of Colorado at Boulder. There are many things that amazed me in my early days in the United States. But one of the things that truly stuck me out was the freedom of the press. The journalist and reporter's ability to listen, to watch, to observe, to investigate, and to write about anything was a wonderment to me. It remains the mecca of his life journey. However, besides Aligarh, Dr. Frank maintains a strong bonding and relations with other great institutions in India such as Jamia Millia Islamia and Hamdard University in Delhi. Frank Islam has a passion for education and all possible ways to create a better society. Dr. Frank Islam was conferred honorary degree of Doctor of Sciences at Jamia Hamdard at a grand function specially held in his honor there. It is truly a pleasure for me to be here at Jamia Hamdard. As I look at you students in the audience, I see me in you. I see the future of India. You can bring an overall positive and profound impact on society. Your education at Hamdard will prepare you to become a change agent. Civic and business leaders should promote collaboration. They should toil together, transcending their creeds to plant the seeds for doing good deeds. He was invited to speak a function organized by the Society for Advancing United States and India Relation at India International Center. Democratic and diversity are the two values that binds us together, that brings us together. And when we are together, we can help shape a better future for the world. Dr. Frank Islam feels a strong, compelling need to serve his motherland and especially the small village and town he was born in, Kuhuraghani in Azamgarh. Dr. Frank Islam was given a grand and memorable welcome when he reached at Azamgarh after doing so much for his hometown and village. Dr. Frank Islam was also invited to deliver speech at the girls' school in Azamgarh town. The teachers and girls of the school presented a beautiful cultural program with dance and music. I have a lifelong passion and commitment to improving girls access to education. I want to make sure they are not confined to four walls, their voices are heard, and they are not ignored. I firmly believe that if we empower the girls by education, they are most likely to control their own destiny. In his village, he has established a school in the memory of his mother. He hopes to build a fine college and university there someday as well. Much like his alma mater, Aligarh Muslim University.
at his village, a grand tower has been erected in his name to honor and recognize his generous contributions. He inaugurated the tower in the presence of a large gathering of local leaders and other dignitaries of the town. Dr. Frank is always ready to meet local people and interact with them. He also attended a ceremony at Fatima Girls School near his village. It is our responsibility to continue to fight for a fairer, a stronger, just and tolerant India. We need to stand firmly by rejecting the voices that seek to divide us. As Frank has done in several initiatives, one of them is a health clinic that he is starting in the place where we were born. Also, his compassion to make sure anywhere, anybody who is interested to pursue the dream that we facilitate. I feel very happy and elated to uh, complete this project, which is called Health Clinic. It's a matter of pride for me that I have been the part of this project of Dr. Frank Islam. Dr. Frank Islam has also set up a very modern, state-of-the-art clinic in his village, which is equipped with all the advanced facilities. I think it's a very commendable thing, very imaginative uh, and uh, uh, novel idea of providing this clinic, which is uh, very modern, very, very uh, I mean, it's digital. That means the, the specialist doctors are sitting somewhere else. Here, the, the patient's sickness or whatever it is, is captured electronically and transmitted. And the prescription is uh, written somewhere else and the medicine is delivered here. Dr. Frank Islam has given back to his hometown and India in other ways as well. Through his various foundations, Frank funds the education of many youngsters from Azamgarh who are studying at AMU. He has also brought several students from AMU to the United States and helped them to get good jobs. Dr. Frank was invited as the chief guest in a function at India Islamic Center, the cultural hub of Muslim community in the capital city of Delhi. I am really obliged by all those invitees who are my very hearty thanks to them for their coming here and accepting our invitation, particularly for Dr. Frank Islam. Thank you very much. Sir, we have given only to six people. You are the seventh person who is going to get this honorary membership of India Islamic Culture Center. Shall I request you to come please and give your lecture? I'm delighted to be here today. I love India. I love this country because I was born here and because of its art, history, music, culture, and rituals. But most of all, I love India because it stands as the international beacon of hope, democracy, diversity, and the peacemaking. The title of my speech is very much consistent with the vision, mission, goals, and objectives of the Islamic Center. As a result, I titled my talk, Empowering Indian Muslims Through Education and the Pivot Points for Building Better India. First, I believe the problem has been appropriately framed and attention is being devoted to it. Second, I can see that some progress is being made overall. Third, I know the Modi administration is working on a national education policy to address the current defect and deficiencies to address the current to India's educational system. Fourth, I'm personally aware of the initiatives being undertaken by groups here in India and from other parts of the world to strengthen the educational system for, for Muslims and the other minorities. All of us need to focus like a laser beam in ensuring appropriate educational opportunity that brings Indian Muslim into the social and economic mainstream. The Indian Muslim must be active participation, participant in shaping the future of India's economic growth. 
the great journey of Dr. Frank Islam continues with ever new innovations and ideas to promote education and civic engagements. It is said that you can't go home again. Frank has disproven and demonstrated that you can go home again if that is where your heart is. You can go home and lend a helping hand to those in need. Frank may live in America now, but his love for his motherland and its people will always bring him home to be on their side. I was warmly welcomed in India and, and I, I love India. Not only India is my motherland and I would uh, hope we continue the debate and discussion and dialogue with, uh, between me and my family and India and uh, continue to do what we can contribute to make this a better and fairer and stronger place and also um, continue to help others to succeed. <laughs>